Good afternoon, everybody. It's Diana with StampingWithDye.com, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Santan Valley, Arizona. You don't want to look too close at me today. I don't have any makeup on. I have, um, I had a little puffy eye, so I didn't put it on any makeup. So just, just ignore me. You're not here to see if I have makeup on, are you? All right, um, I showed this gorgeous card, this Z fold or Z fold, if you say Z. And um, I had a lot of people say, well, how did you color the magnolia? So I thought I would do that today for my dyes shorts. And it, and it is beautiful. And, and that stamp set and die are retiring. So you want to make sure you grab them. Um, I wish I had played with them more because I am not getting rid of my mind because it is too much fun, especially with this technique because you can make it, it's like, it's like, um, you can make it so beautiful and it's so easy to do so. And I'm going to show you today how you can do it. All right. So let me turn the phone. I have to get that can out of the way because I also want to show you that box. All right. Okie dokie. So I didn't get, I just got, remember I showed you the, um, the mini pizza box? Remember I showed you the mini pizza box that I did this technique to? And, um, hi Sherry, hi Ann. And I couldn't do anything with it because I had to wait till I could seal it. Because, um, because with the glossy paper, because I used the inside of the mini pizza box. Again, these are retiring as well. And um, because you don't want to use a paper that's going to suck it up. So you have to use, would that be called non-porous? Oh my gosh, I don't know. But you don't want the ink to be soaking in. That's why vellum works so good for this technique. But I thought I would try with the pizza box. And I turned it inside out. Because this is really the outside of it. Cause it's like um you can stamp on it but the inside is um it's got this plasticky kind of glossy um to it so that if you put food in it so that's the side i used but the the um alcohol was not drying hi sister the alcohol alcohol was was dry but it was still on the surface so like if i touched it it was rubbing off. So I knew that I had to seal it if I wanted to do anything with this box. So I had to order my um, stuff and it came, but I haven't had time to do anything with the box other than realize it, it worked out good. And this is what I ordered. I ordered the Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. <clears throat> and all I did was I just took it outside, excuse me for clearing my throat. I took it outside and I just sprayed it um, and I let it dry you know a few hours but now look at I can touch it I can rub it it is beautiful isn't this just beautiful oh my gosh so what I think I'm going to do is because to me doesn't this look almost like ice cream so I'm going to do something with the sweet ice cream stamp set so I thought it'd be fun if I made like put an ice cream on the top of it so I don't know yet um, but make sure I'll do something with it and I'll put it on my blog so make sure you um, follow my blog and I'll, I'll do that. I'll do it there. All right. So I'm just sticking that behind me on that crazy table that holds every, every, everything. All right. Um, as I always mention, hostess code. There's your um, April hostess code that I would love for you to use if you place an order in my store. Um, I so appreciate it. And we're also going to be using the um, matte black dots today and those are what you are earning when you place an order in my store and if it's um, 75 before tax and shipping you will get your own um, packet of matte black dots when I send you your thank you card for your April order in May okay so we are going to be using the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And I'm just using the big greeting. I'm not putting an inside greeting to this card. I'll show you the, the greeting I used the other day because I don't know what I'm gonna do with these cards yet. So I'm gonna have these cards all the way ready to go. I can add my greeting when I need it. So I suggest that 
um, all the time. Get your cards done and add your greeting later, especially if it's a, um, it's a particular greeting, right? I mean, if you just say thinking of you, now that can be sent for anything, but, um, obviously if you put happy birthday or thanks, then it's, it's pretty, um, specific. Okay. Then I'm going to be using the Magnolia memory die. I'm also going to be using, now this paper is not available yet. Um, this will be new paper that's in the, um, upcoming catalog that starts May the 4th. Um, I will be doing a DSP share and then you can get, get some of that. All right. So make sure you sign up for the DSP share that I have not even announced yet. I'm so bad. All right. Eric went to the podiatrist, not the podiatrist, that's the foot person. They took care of his toe and he hopefully can go back to work Monday because I have been, he's 32, but I've been kind of babying him all week. It's fun to baby him. All right, so I'm going to put my silicone sheets down or whatever. Not that I don't think it, I don't think it would get wet through because I'm also putting paper. This is the, um, the vellum. I just cut it right in half and I'm just going, oh, what am I doing? Da, 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 da. All right, so what I did ahead of time was I stamped my magnolia flower with the stays on, so the um, black stays on. And then I'm going to turn it upside down. So the stamped, the ink side is, is facing down. Just because stays on does not get along with alcohol. So you don't want the alcohol on it. I don't know why, but like I always say, I'm a stamper, not a scientist. Okay, so, and I just taped it down. This is simply just um, a roll of post-it note tape. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Candy. Make sure I see everybody. <clears throat> Hi, Kelly. Now, Kelly, she's the one that makes those amazing masks that I had. Um, so if you see Kelly on here, look at. So these masks are amazing. So these are what Jeff and I use. And it has the nose thing, so I know I'm 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 like squirrel, you know, I'm doing something else. But um, so Kelly, when you see her on here, and she she's up, if you just scroll up to the the um, people watching, that's where you get them from. All right, and she's local here in Arizona, so I love her and her daughter make them. I love supporting um, a fellow crafter for sure. Okay, so the it's stamped, it's on the back you know, backside or whatever. So stamp side is down. So we're going to add our color to the backside of, I know Arlene, and you are the one that uh, introduced me to Kelly. So I appreciate it that so much. Okay. So let's see. I want all my little blends. So the blends I'm going to be using are the dark mossy meadow, dark old olive, bronze, dark pumpkin pie, dark flirty flamingo and my dark basic black all right so i have my 91% um, alcohol is in my um, water painter and i'm going to and i also have a piece of parchment paper and i just kind of crumple it up someone asked me that day, could you use wax paper I would think, yes, that you could use wax paper. You just don't want to use something that's going to suck the alcohol up because you want to be able to move the alcohol around. So I have parchment paper, paper, so that's what I grabbed. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dark mossy meadow and I'm adding it to my leaf. So it's kind of like you're coloring it like you would normally because you could just color this like normal and not have to use the alcohol and move it all around and it would be beautiful but I'm teaching you how to control using the alcohol and the blends okay so I have my creakly it's very noisy I have my creakly I have my little um my little cotton thing just to control my alcohol and what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a squeeze and then you can see the alcohol is coming to the tip of the brush. So I'm just going to drop, drop, drop. 
I'm dropping it around, not a whole lot. And then you simply take your crumpled up parchment paper and we are just going to pounce. But I just want to kind of stay where the leaves are. Now, if it gets a little bit on the flower, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I'm just going to keep going. But see how I'm just kind of pouncing around the outside. So this is how I'm kind of coloring the back side of that image. Okay, so that looks good. And it and then it will dry. All right, so I'm going to use the same piece of parchment. So I'm just going to kind of fold it, you know, so I don't have that green. All right. So then what I want to do is I want to color my magnolia. Now the magnolia flower, I believe is white, right? Is it kind of white or pink? Um, I guess I should have Googled that. But um, obviously I want to add some color. So what I did was I thought these two colors would look good. And it's the pumpkin and the flirty because it's just soft. It's very, very pretty. We can pretend the sun is reflecting on the flower if anyone is um, is has a problem with it looking a little um, orangey. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm adding my pumpkin pie and I'm leaving, I'm not coloring it all the way in. Then I'm going to take my flirty and I'm going to add some of that flirty as well. I love these colors together. And then we're going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to squeeze this and make sure it's clean, right? Because it might have picked up a little bit of the green when I put it onto the leaf. So I'm just squeezing and you can see it come to the tip of that brush and then I'm just pouncing it on to here. You don't want to add too much because you don't want to dilute the color like too much. You want to be able to see some of that color there. So that looks, that looks pretty good. I don't want to mess with it too much anymore. And then I am going to take my bronze and I'm just going to add a little bit to the stem. And I'm not even going to add the alcohol. It's just going to add a little bit of a brown to my stem. And then we're just going to let that dry. But what I also did was I flicked some of the black, but I want it to dry a little bit. Dry, please, please dry. You can see it drying as I like hyperventilate. Let's see, what do I have I can use as a fan? Da -da -da. I'm just like drying, drying, drying. I just want it to be dry before I add the black because if I add it now and it's wet, it's just gonna like go everywhere. And I don't want that. I want it to be black flicks, like black polka dots. So it's almost dry. Come on. <sighs> Almost. Okay, good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my basic black um, blend. Now it makes a mess. If you're worried about your fingers, you can use gloves. These work good. These are like, I forget what these are called. They're little, like little finger cots. But you can put them on like your fingers. So if you're like doing crafts and your fingers are going to get yucky and you have like, um, a manicure or whatever, you can use these. All right, so I'm just taking my black, I'm using the brush tip and I'm using the lid and I'm just flicking it. So I'm just flicking that. So see, you can't control flicking. So you actually, it seems to flick like farther away. All right, so that looks good. Then you can reuse these because that alcohol will dry on there. So I'll take those off. Oh my gosh, can I get that off? Because I didn't have gloves. I didn't have gloves. All right. All right, so then you're gonna let that dry. Da -da 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 -da. You're gonna let that dry. So what I do is then I set this off to the table, let it dry really good. Because I told you the other day, it, it's still, even though it looks pretty dry, the, the vellum could still be a little damp, you know, underneath. So what I did was I did one ahead of time. So let me just set that there. I don't believe I need these anymore or this because now we're going to go and make the card. All right. So what I did was we are going, this is a Z fold card or a Z fold card. 
So what you do is you score your cardstock. Let me move all these things. So this is one piece of cardstock. So see this? So it's one piece of cardstock. And what I did was I scored it, and I should have wrote these down. I told myself, write it down. All right, it is scored at two and three quarters. So I score the whole, whole piece of paper. So it actually should go this way, right? Because you're putting it on the scorer this way. So you put your whole piece of paper on the, on the Simply Scored. You score at two and three quarter. Is that what I said? I really need to take some medicine from my memory. Yes, two and three quarter. So you're gonna score at two and three quarter, your whole piece of cardstock, and then five and a half. Then you're gonna put it on your trimmer, and you're gonna cut it at four and a quarter. So now you have basically scored one time Thank you, Jackie, you told me about the ruler. Um, so now you basically have scored one time and you have one cut, but you have two cards. So if you are doing like a class or Christmas cards, let me tell you, those seconds turn into minutes, turn into hours when you are doing a lot of cards, if you can do, do things like that. Okay, so now you have your Z full card. So see that? Cute, cute, cute. And then this is that DSP I told you about. So I used all of, so this is the DSP I used on this card before, but I only have one pack of that because it wasn't available, right? We, um, as a demonstrator, we could buy one set of them, you know, to play with. So I can't wait to get my hands on a whole bunch more. So I just picked another one of the, the styles from that same pack, but it's still Flirty Flamingo. So it's got these cute, um, stripes on the one side and that on the other side. So I'm choosing this one. And where's my adhesive? Okay, where's my adhesive? So then I'm just putting my, and I closed it. So I'm just putting my adhesive on here. So we're just going to add, now it's up to you if you put any here. So sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But it is pretty if you put it there, because then it kind of completes the inside of the card as well. So you've got that on the inside, like that. Then we need a piece of the Whisper White. Now this is where I'll put my greeting eventually, but like I said, remember, I'm not going to put a greeting right now. So I'm just gonna take this little strip and I'm just going to add some adhesive to it because I want it to have this to have a little bit of color as well. So I'm just going to use this little piece that was left over when I cut the other pieces. So if you're using DSP that has like a pattern, you kind of want to pay attention to the pattern. Um, if you're doing this, like you wouldn't want one going one way another, and one going another way. Um, so, I mean, you might, but I'm, I'm kind of particular. So I try to pay attention to that when I'm cutting. All right, so see how pretty that is already? And then it's just gonna go like that. So let me get my magnolia. So this is the one I cut out earlier, but I also cut out from the basic white, I cut out a magnolia as well. So this is going to go on here. And what that does is it just shows that color a lot better. Cause see, you didn't really see it here, right? But when you put it on that white, it looks gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So what I do is I have my green tip glue. Happy Friday, Mary. I have my green tip glue. All right. In my handy dandy little, I showed you this other day, my handy dandy little shot glass. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, let me get this back. So I just kind of pinch it together so that I know that it's in the same spot as the other one. And then I lay it down, I hold it with one hand so it doesn't move, and I peel this back. So I'm gonna peel that, but I don't want it to move. And I'm just going to put a few little drops of my green tip glue. 
and that's going to glue the vellum to that white piece of cardstock. And then I'll turn, turn it around, and I'll do the same thing. So I'll hold, because it's not all the way dry yet. So I'm just going to hold that, and then you're just going to lift, and you're going to do the same thing. So then we're just going to green tip glue, da 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 all the way around. Not, I'm not gobbing it on there because it's just a piece of vellum. That's the word of the day, gob. We're not going to gob that. All right. So now look at that beautiful, beautiful flower. And I couldn't color it that gorgeous if I tried, if I didn't use this technique, right? I mean, I love to color, but this just makes, and that's what I mean, this flower, oh my gosh, I wish I'd have played with it more, but I'm not getting rid of it. All right, so then what I'll do is I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna bring my um, Z Fold card, and now we're going to put the flower on here. But you wanna pay attention, because you only wanna put your adhesive on this side, because if you put adhesive here, you're gonna glue your card together. So the only time you want to glue a card together so the person can't open it is if you're sending a check. So if you're sending somebody a check and you don't want them to be able to spend the check, well then, by all means, then you want to glue your card together. But we are not sending a check. We want to let them have their card. So I want to pay attention to what I'm doing here. All right. Okay, so it's here. And here. So that just kind of helps me eyeball. So I know it's here and here. And then when I flip it over, I just know to keep my dimensionals on this side. Like don't go past this line. That's probably good. All right. And then peel your dimensionals it's just such a fun fun technique oh my gosh all right then bring your card back over pay attention to where you put your dimensionals for sure and Also, pay attention to the boundaries of your card. If you go out too far, it's not going to fit in the envelope. Same with here. If you come down too far, it might look all and pretty on a on the um, windowsill or whatever of the person's house, but you're never going to get it in the envelope. So you got to keep it within the, the size of the card, okay? All right. So now we have, look at, ta-da, this beautiful, beautiful card. And see, when you open it up like this, you know, I like having the paper back there because then it's you, the whole flower is is there. All right, but I also want to add some of the um, what you call it that I talked about, the matte black dots. So I just give them a push, kind of pushes them off the plastic. Pick it up with my pick tool. And we're going to put a little one there. I want a bigger one up to the top. One here. And then another little one. So just give it a shove. Gob and shove are the words of the day. Okay. So there we go. So look how pretty that is. So here's the other one. So that's so this is the one I showed originally. So you can see the color's a little bit different. So here's the one I did today. So it should be dry now. All right, so let's see what the one today. Now I'm, now I'm not gonna run over there and, and die cut it. I'm just going to lay the flat white behind there just so you can see. The one that I did live, you can see the one we did together, what it looks like. So here's what the one we did together looks like. So see, 
It is beautiful too. When I post a live, can you put the name of that Krylon stuff into the comments, please? Here you go, sister. It's just Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. And I chose gloss. And um, I got it on Amazon. I am sure I could have went to a home appliance store, maybe Walmart. I mean, I probably could have went to a store and got it, but you know me, I'm not going to stores, although today I did for the first time. Um, so hopefully that you got that, sister. All right, but see, this is the one we did today. So they all look a little bit different, but still they're all so beautiful. So, um, so hopefully you will, um, I want to make sure I, I talked about everything. I think I did. I think I did. So, um, here I am. I crazy. I'll stay way back. No makeup face. So, um, but hopefully you'll try it either way. If you're just doing it as a background or I have the beautiful cards up there. If you're just doing it as a background, it's gorgeous. But I loved doing it where you had the stamp. So, um, and the magnolia is perfect because it's a nice big one. So you really have time to move around. If you have, um, something smaller, it might be a little harder. You'd have to, um, uh, be maybe a little more, more particular or whatever, but, um, but I love it. Um, oh yeah, the markers are so easy to use, especially this way. And then I used them here too, Kelly. I showed the other day. You'll have to go back into my videos. So the other day was that my um, What You Making Wednesday. We did this. And this is just a bag made out of an envelope. Um, but I colored this so that I could show um, people how I had did the flower when on the Teach Me Tuesday, I'm trying to keep straight, I think the Teach Me Tuesday, I showed how to do the green background. So please, um, if you're on um, Facebook, please go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. And then that way um, you never miss out on anything. And I love it when you share my videos. And now our, our Facebook group is um, like a private group. So if you have a friend that's um, a crafter and would love um, to join, you can send them the link, you know, so I can invite them. I just have it so that people just can't, you know, join on their own because, you know, there, there's some, um, some people, you know, there's some, some not necessarily nice people in the world, unfortunately. So I guess I just want to keep our group, um, without the perverts coming in there. Cause I know I have commented on you know, some groups that I'm part of that are, that anybody can join. And then you got some guy like asking you like these weird questions in your comment. And it's like, no. So, but, um, I would love if you have, um, a friend, you know, that wants to be in the, in the group and, and see stuff by all means, um, um, invite them. So, um, I'm going to stop jabbing tonight. We said we were going to do a Campfire? Do you call it a campfire if it's in your own backyard? Or do you just call it a fire pit? But, um, so we're going to do, we're going to move the chairs back there and we're going to grill hot dogs and I got, um, s'more stuff. So we thought we'd have a fun Friday. And before I do that, I have a three o'clock and half an hour, a blue jean chef. I've talked about her. Um, a, a Zoom class. I love her cooking classes. So, um, so I have had that. So, so much going on this evening. So, um, have a great weekend, everyone. Hi, Marcy. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Okay. And, um, I will see you, uh, Monday for my mimeograph Monday. And that will be on my YouTube channel. And that is 11 o'clock AM Arizona time. And, um, hopefully I'll look better. <laughs> so have a good weekend, everyone. Hi, Virginia. All right. Thanks for popping in and seeing me, Arlene. Okay. Bye, everybody.